<coughs> and once again, welcome back to the Cyber Gaming Competition se Semi Finals. We are watching Ni Zai Nali vs Tom DH. And we are live at SMU and I S S I S I S, excuse me. Um the faculty here. This is the Cyber Gaming Competition uh competition and it's the semi-finals right now. Shout out to our sponsors, Logitech G Experience. Uh they are having an event next Friday, that's the twenty first of March twenty fourteen. And it starts at 12 7 p.m. at Colosseum Level 5, Bugis Plus in Singapore. My name is Maya. Thank you all for joining me. And I will start the draft right now between both teams. And as you've seen, there are. We are going to see a band uh, by Tom DH on the Witch Doctor as well as the Bristol Back. So they don't want any physical attacks right now. And. <clears throat> On Ni Zai Nali, they have ran out very famously the OD. OD is well known for actually outputting a lot of damage mid and late game, so they don't want to go up against him. Very, very wide bands by both teams, and right now I am looking at them, they are just discussing what else to ban out. <clears throat> so it was really rushed for me to actually get here. Hopefully, you guys who are tuning into my Twitch ha can hear me quite clearly. Um, tons of noise around. I'm so excited to be here, and I will hopefully um, see you guys soon. If you guys are at the SM uh, at SMU right now, do come down and give us your support. And Ni Zai Nali has banned out the slug right now, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, we're not gonna see any slug pounces when the slug get away. Slug is a very slippery hero, and he is a good ban. But I will want to see if they are gonna ban out the Ember Spirit this time round. And while we wait for Tom DH to get their first pick, I am wondering. Um, uh, I will just go and fix up my Twitch for a bit. Remaining. Gradient team pick. So apparently I am able to stream to my Twitch channel. Thank you all for tuning in. We will see a Mirada here picked up by Tom DH and immediately answered by Nintai Nadi and Zach Adel picking up the Timbersaw as well as the Invoker. Great pickup guys. Uh Timbersaw, very tanky hero, very slippery hero as well with his timber chain maxed out. And Invoker, he is a um, Hero that's not new to the meta right now. He has, he can be, uh, he can go so many ways. I mean, he can be a carry invoker with that ill scepter into a, into a sunstrike, into a chaos meatball, into deafening blast, or uh, an invoker that that just snipes heroes off the map early game with the <clears throat> sunstrike. So it will, we'll have to wait and see who, um, how this invoker will be played. Uh, will he go Quas and Vex or will he go Exot? So he will be going mid lane, I believe, um, unless it's a safe lane in Volga. And now Tom DH is going to pick up Clockwork as well. Clockwork is probably going to go off lane here. I have not actually seen any of the players play before, so I will not be able to tell who's playing what in which role until they actually pick those heroes. 10 seconds remaining. So, it was really rushed for me to get here. Now I can hear myself awesome. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming down to the Dota 2 Cyber Gaming Competition over here in SIS SMU. I am so enjoying myself right now. Turt bans all around now. Tom DH gonna ban out the Naga Siren here, so that's a huge amount of CC that's not gonna be available to either team here. And wow, the Storm Spirit ban, immediate Storm Spirit ban here. They don't want the Storm Spirit against the. They don't want the Storm Spirit going up against the Invoker, but another hero that can go up against the Invoker will be the. Will probably be the puck. You know, you, a puck can pretty much shut down the invoker for a few seconds with that waning rift. But we'll see how it goes. And very interestingly, Tom DH is gonna ban out the alchemist as well. Um, 
They, I'm not too sure why. Uh, Alchemist combos really well with Mirana, but I would love to see maybe Tom DH going to go for a Bane here. But I kind of feel that Alchemist is much easier, uh, much easier hero to play, as well as he can snowball as well and help his team taking down towers, pushing the lanes really quickly. So right now, fourth band for. And we are I'm looking for them to actually ban out an uh, offlaner. They have not banned out many offlaners here. They will probably want um, it pro we will probably see Timbersaw go up against Clockwork here and it's gonna be interesting. Oh wow, they ban out the Doom instead and I'm looking at them, the five of them are just standing around discussing amongst themselves. Both teams are just doing that right now. It is awesome right now. If you guys aren't here, if you guys haven't gotten some ice cream, go and grab some, save some for me as well. <laughs> now turn pick up here for Ninja and Ali. They are discussing right beside me, so perhaps I shouldn't talk too loudly. Um, looking for a hard carry here, unless their invoker is going safely in carry. Um, I've seen some of that in the Southeast Asian scene, where they actually go, where they actually go and dire team pick. Well, they actually send the invoker solo top, uh, solo off, solo safe lane, excuse me. I'm just hearing all the feedback in the background right now, so hopefully I won't get that in the future. And the Crystal Maiden pick up here. Uh, awesome pick up here, very squishy early game, yet if she, play, if she is played right, she can be very aggressive and can get early kills. So we will see if it's going to be a try lane for the... If it's going to be a try lane uh, for Nita and Ali, and then invoke a mid lane, and then Timbersaw off lane. So Nita and Ali is still waiting Reserve to pick up their last um, one more support as well as a hard oh, carry, I would say. Tom DH going to pick up the very strength, very tanky Ogre Mega here. He has a really good stun, and of course with the multicast, that with the multicast rework, um, there will be a lot, um, basically, he will be able to use his stun really, really well. I've seen a lot of multicast um, being played in the last Ogre game I, I played, and that's going to be awesome as well. Ten seconds remaining. I'm going to oh, just try and fix was a bit of a right now, and and I sorry about that. Thank you guys in a few seconds. Like I was mentioning, the pup pick up here Blue by Invoker. Really, really good. Um, sorry, the pup pick up here by against the Invoker, so we are going to see him have to actually ensure that his spells hit Puck before he's able to phase shift or bait out that phase shift as well. So Luna is going to be the hard carry or the hard lane farmer or the safe lane farmer for Nisai Nali here and Tom TH will be looking for a last support and I really Ten wish they... Remaining. Yeah, I know. I think I disconnected from the internet for a bit. I, re I just reconnected, so two minutes time. Sorry about that. And there we go, the live stealer. So that's gonna be interesting. Will it be the Mirana um safe lane farmer here or will that be the live stealer here? We will have to see as the teams pick up their heroes right now. And the customary pause coming out here. Um hopefully that will allow me to get my stream back up in a bit. <clears throat> and some customary shameless plugs from here as well. <laughs> Hopefully my stream will be up in a few minutes time. I do apologize for that. And we will and both teams now calling the go. We'll see <clears throat> Let's uh, let me introduce yeah, the teams right now. So we have Dong Fang, uh, so on the on the team Nizai Nali and Zack and L the, on the Radiant side we have Dong Fang, who something I can't see that on the Crystal Maiden, Crystal on the Luna, Red Bull Warrior, and yes I smell a lot of Red Bull around me right now on the Timbersaw, Lady Candice on the Pirate Hunter and Elero on the Invoker. <clears throat> Over on Tom DH side, we have Jiao Wei on 
the Ogre Mega Puppets on the Puck, Leonardo on the Lifestealer, Original on the Mirana, and Locus on the Clockwork. So both teams moving into position right now. It's really interesting to see what's happening. Um, and everyone's calling out lag, that's true. Um, facing some lag issues right now. We are playing at the then event itself. Not too sure if it's my fault because I am streaming off their lag. If it's if it's a bit too laggy, I probably will have to stop the stream and just do a recording myself. Hopefully I don't have to do that. And once again, shout out to Logitech for being the sponsors of this event. They also have another event next Friday, the 21st, which I will be going for as well. See you guys there. And that is the Logitech G experience over at Colosseum Bugis. It starts at 12 and at around 7. And hopefully, yeah, we're gonna start the game right now. So very interestingly, both teams are gonna move into position right now, and I'm gonna just move my screen a bit so no one can actually screen me. Because I have seen it right beside one of the guys from Nita and Ali. Um, if you guys see a girl wearing an MTS Esports shirt, shout out to MTS Esports as well. Thank you all for um, <laughs> the wonderful memories that we have together. Uh, that, and my name's Maya once again. If you guys want, you guys can always find me on facebook.com forward slash dt.maya. Okay, we will start here now, Xiao Wei. Xiao Wei is going to actually put the ward up there. And you yeah, are going to just wait once, once again. So, we are. I would love to actually see Nita and Ali run the Crystal Maiden as well as the Tide Hunter. A very deadly combo. I want to, I really want to see them roam around the map here. Uh, as for Timisaw, he's going to get this off lane farm there, invoke a mid lane, and Luna going to just solo the safe lane right now. Uh, of course, I actually shouldn't be talking because <laughs> this pause is going to get hurt by the teams and we will see what's going to happen. Both teams actually have placed down wards. Uh, pretty offensive wards for the Dyer and defensive wards for the Radiant here. And both teams, you know, this is quite different from what I've seen in the Australian scene. So for those who don't know me, I pass mostly Australian games. And I've just recently come back from Australia as well. So it's great to be back in Singapore. I miss the food here. I miss the people here as well. And... <clears throat> It's very different from Australian scenes, like what I've mentioned. They actually go as five very aggressively into the jungle. They are very aggressive as compared to those who um to the Asian scene where they are a bit more passive. The Australian scene is very passive. And, you know, they are very aggressive just diving past the towers and just basically going ham. So while the teams wait to reconnect I will just give more shout outs. Um, shout out to Mr. Fahrenheit. Thank you very much for tuning into my stream at all times. Shout out to Andy Tron Senpai as well. He's the one who gives me the, who gave me this shirt, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, and shout out to Skitza from MTS Esports because it is it was his birthday a couple of couple of days ago. Happy birthday, they did. Twitch. So the admins right now are just so trying to I fix up the LAN uh, cables here. Uh, 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 I will entertain you guys with some music now. <laughs> Everyone's just shouting, asking for people to actually. Oh uh, boy. But now because it's fast, they can hear what this I just said. So like, I'm gonna just like quiet and let music play for the next few minutes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, so game's gonna go back. It it is pretty laggy, I have to admit it. Um, hopefully both teams can make to make the best of this right now. Uh we will Ah, oh, great. Something wrong with my keyboard again. So in the mid lane we will see Puck Papa Z on the Puck as well as Adderall on the invoker. We're gonna go mid lane. And so much lag right now. Red Bull Warrior versus Leonardo at top lane with his spots in the jungle. And in mid lane, we are gonna see a gank right now. Papa Z is a lot of trouble. He is gonna face shift. No, not. He was gonna face shift, but will he be able to get that cold snap? That face shift will save his life and he will get away. Three man gank here. Dong Fang Pu by taking quite a bit of damage from the tower there. He's gonna back off. And that's a failed gank from Nita and Ali. They are gonna back off right now on bot lane. We will see. Crystal versus Locus. Um, Crystal on the Luna here and Locus on the Clockwork. They are gonna go 1v1 right now. And then uh, Lady Candice versus as well as Tong Fang Pupai gonna move into position as well uh, to support. Such lag, much wow. <laughs> so right now both teams gonna look at the lag issue and see what's gonna happen. <laughs> and laptop, please. Oh, Denied. Denied. with flame.
me everywhere. Then I realized, uh, we. <laughs> I did forget to put on the volume right now. So once again, uh, that <laughs> I did forget to switch on my mic. So I do apologize to those viewing on Twitch. <laughs> That's so interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited to be here right now back in SIS SMU. Um, I was once an IS student as well, and it's great to be supporting the events that you know, the juniors have actually done. And this is the Dota 2 Cyber Gaming Competition Finals, um, right now happening live at the SIS Big Steps in SMU, Singapore, proudly sponsored by Logitech. And Logitech will be hosting another event next week next Friday, that's the 21st of March, that will be at Colosseum Level 5 Bugis Plus in Singapore. And they will start from 12 to 7pm. I will be there participating in one of the competitions, so if you guys want to come down and say hi, I'm cool with that. And either way, come down anyway, just to see the new uh, <clears throat> excuse me, see the new and uh, brilliant products that Logitech has. So, do apologize once again for the technical issues here. Um, both teams are looking quite frustrated. They are laughing, however, but you know, the tone of their voices, they're, they're looking kind of frustrated. Um, you know, this lag is kind of annoying me as well. Simply because, um, you know, lag has never really worked out for anyone just yet. So both teams now shouting across the table for to just continue trying. I hope to continue get get you guys more big plays. And pauses once again. <laughs> and finally, we are going to go here. Uh, the loosen beam comes down on lockers here, and Crystal wants to go in. And now the support coming as well. He got cocks himself, and will he have a TP out? No, he will not. Will he be the first blood here? He manages to eat the tree and get out in time. He pops the south. That will save him a bit, but Dong Kofu by unable to cast a spell there. She... Dockers will get away in time. And right now, both supports still moving. <laughs> and now, sorry about that, both supports moving into the jungle, but still, we are going to see a referee call the pause here, and I believe they are going to just talk to the teams to figure out what's going on, and to see if you know they want to switch to some, some other network here. We are using the school network here. Let's have switched their laptops. Um, we are still live at the event itself. This is at SIS, the School of Information Systems faculty over here in SMU. My name is Maya. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for your patience and understanding as well. Now we're gonna go back to the game really, really quickly. You're gonna hit the eight minute mark, and yet, um, and yet still no first blood right now. Mm, very passive game all around, but it has, you know, in the defense of the game itself, it has been plagued by a lot of issues, especially with the lag issues. And now the players have switched their comms. Um, it is. Still, uh, looks pretty good for them right now. And now, regeneration is going to get picked up by the Ogre Mega there. And Tom DH, they are going to rotate into the Radiant Jungle. 
And Locker's going to just pop the cock there now We're gonna see an engagement here Stun Gonna miss the purple fight again Crystal comes in with the Eclipse And Crystal Maiden getting the first blood there Mirana's gonna leap away here And the rotations all come in Edward coming in with the Tornado Hopefully catching misses Original there And Original will escape with his life Crystal dropping very low though, that Eclipse did some damage and Crystal Maiden did right click that uh, Crystal Maiden did right click that Ogre Mega down to death And now Red Bull Warrior also rotating in, that means the Lifestealer Leonardo or the Lifestealer are going to get some free farm here That's going to help him quite a bit because he has been plagued by this Timbersaw uh, this Timbersaw is probably waiting for Arcane Boots right now So he will move into the secret shop get that very quickly Leonardo just still happily farming down there No TPs on the Timbersaw and that really just You know he had to actually walk across the entire map Just to ensure that his, uh, Maybe try to get one more kill but I personally feel that that wasn't warranted for If he had a TP he could have come in for that kill But you know Tom DH just disengaged too quickly with the Mirana leap as well, um, and that's going to prevent them from giving out a second death. So right now, Dongfang Pupai is losing out on a lot of experience, um, hanging around in the lane, helping his teammate Adderall here. And once again, I hear myself in the background, so I do apologize for the feedback here. We do see an Invis rune get picked up. And now, our plane. Leonardo's just dropping a bit low here. Maybe he's baiting out the Red Bull Warrior. And now he's gonna get turned upon. Where is the arrow? Tiao, he comes in with the stun. And will we see the arrow? The arrow will on Red Bull Warrior. And he's gonna be the first kill there for Tom DH. Very very quick kill there, and that the best thing was that the live stealer actually got that kill. So it means that he will be well on his way to his armlet. The pings go out. Dongfang Pupai going to do some dewarding there. Popper is going to come in and chase her away. So now we see a bit more wards coming out from both teams, and. Oh, Locker is going to get gushed there, as well as a loser beam. He's going to cock himself in with Lady Candace, and Lady Candace is just going to get pushed here. Dream Coy will go off, and now the off will actually kill the Tide Hunter, but Luna gets the last kill with that loser beam on the puck here. Puck, very quick rotation down bot lane, sorry, loser beam on the... Clockwork, excuse me, and he gets that kill there. Life still on the top lane, missed that kill once again. He gets another kill on Red Bull Warrior on the Timbersaw, and that's gonna be. He's gonna sit pretty, um, <laughs> pretty much on these two kills, and these two kills will help set him up for his armlet. He's building towards it right now. He has face boots, so he will be going somewhat like a race car build here. And Popper's now on bot lane, has actually forced Crystal to back off. The two supports also not there right now And Adderall, now he's still ha stand sitting in mid lane He does, he's only gone for the cross and Wex So he will not be able to actually do any There will not be any sun strikes just yet uh, But both teams better watch out Because there is a new uh, There's a new item on Puck right now And uh, you know, being at the land event I can't really say what it is until he uses it Dyer's uh, middle tower is under attack. Probably cast but now we're gonna see Nita and Ali and Zach and L on the top lane. Red Bull Warrior, he's just gonna try to get some last hits. We will see rotations from both teams all around. Luna's crystal is still <clears throat> just trying to farm bot lane, and both teams just wondering where they are. But each other are uh, Leonardo's going to meet Red Bull Warrior. He chose out the world leader and will Timber Chain away. Now Leonardo's gonna get caught, but he will rage out of there and invest into a creep. The arrow will land on Dongfang Fu Pai, but no, no supports coming in just yet from Tom DH. They will back off. And these this means that Nita and Ali is going to just continue getting some farm here. The supports are hanging around as well. And the next engagement, we will probably see Leonardo get scushed here. He is 
a bit out of mana here and Ogre Magi will move into position just to intimidate Design Ali for a bit. The pings come out, they will spot out heroes rotations once again. And really where are the big where are the big engagements? Here we go, Red Bull Warrior will get set out. He will tip the chain away in time. Does Lady can just have the Ali? No, he does not. They will go in after Invoker gets the kill on Ogamai there, there. And that's one down for Tom DH. Rocket Flare coming in from the Clockwork here. Announcing his presence. You should look at the hero levels really quickly simply because... <clears throat> Most of the heroes here on Tom DH, they are kind of level dependent. Um, Ogumei are really dependent on his multicast to get those Please fantastic stuns off. But also dependent on the Dream Call to prevent any escapes. Um, Life Stealer, of course, infests such a good, <clears throat> such a good good spell. Excuse me. Block Rock, of course, with the hook shot that will enable him to be very very mobile and Mirana of course with Moonlight Shadow so right now we will see all five heroes barreling down top lane and will there be any response from Nita and Ali? That's the question <clears throat> the pings come out, they will want to go in the tornado tornado catches all the man right here, will we see Back up the check room gets thrown down as well, but Yahweh yeah, will walk out of there in time. Radiance so middle both tower teams right now, 5v5 top lane. Where is the space created? Crystal, even Crystal Luna on the on the Radiant team has actually joined the team fight here. Leonardo is just in top lane trying to get some farm. And both teams just, you know, not sure where each other are right now. Even though wards are being placed left, right and center. It's going to be difficult here for both teams to engage simply because they are too close to the Diasite Tower. And the Rocket Flare will just provide that much vision for Tom DH. <clears throat> Lockers and Popper is going to move down to mid lane instead and try to get the tower while Pop gets pushed here as well. I really don't dis I really disagree with Crystal joining in these team fights, Dyer's but you know if she gets if she stays by herself, she's gonna get picked off here. Radiant's and now Red Bull Warrior is gonna get turned upon here. He gets killed off here by his three heroes. He really Dyer's wanted to, to get that, but <clears throat> Tom DH will trade a tier one tower for that. Crystal's gonna TP mid lane and try to get some farm. Try to get some kills as well, actually. Now Clockwork is going to get set upon by those creeps there, they are looking for his Luna, looking for that kill there, and Clockwork will walk past Crystal, he, he will cog up and try to get away in time. Perfect cogs here to actually block anyone from chasing him and in mid lane. Poppers is going in after Tofafu, but he can't do anything, he's just trying to back into the trees, he will get down, get killed off by the right quicks here. Will the tornado head start? Yes, he will, the EMP will drop as well, and Poppers now, the cold step, will, one more right click, Moonlight Shadow will click him alive, no it no, will no, not, and Adderall will right click Poppers to death. Changes left, right and center, from the edge versus Nita and Ali. Uh, this is live at the Dota 2 ga Cyber Gaming Competition Finals at SIS SMU in Singapore. My name's Maya, and wow, look at the items already. Just gonna quickly pull up the items chart for you guys. And on top lane, original gonna get EMP there as well as Cold Step Heat. He will leap away. And that will be all that she said right now. Red Bull Warrior still not doing any ganks yet. Um, still trying to get some farm, trying to get. Maybe he has an urn, he has the arcane boots, so that's all good for him. Maybe a bloodstone is in the works for him. Crystal Maiden sitting pretty on the tranquil boots as well as the observer wards and the sentry wards. And right now, rotations coming in bot lane. Crystal as well as Lady Candice is gonna move off. <coughs> And we are going to see a lot more rotations around the map. So we have seen quite a number of rotations from both teams here. And really, both teams just trying to open up some space for themselves, trying to get some fun, just trying to get some kills as well. 18 minutes in and we have 9 kills across the scoreboard. Quick look at the EXP graph. Um, pretty much in the Radiance favor here. They have been farming quite well. 
Right now, out is still on cooldown, so Moonlight Shadow is not going to be used anytime soon. The wards will get placed here, and will they find Crystal? Oh, they find Crystal and the Blink Dagger comes in, Leonardo pops out in fast as well. Now, Poppers is going to get taken down very quickly by that, and the response comes in, the Ravage comes in as well. And now, Xiao Wei is going to get killed up. No, Leonardo going to get set upon there. And now, Xiao Wei is going to try to run out there, but no, he gets killed up by Simmerstar here. And now, oh, Locke is in a bit of trouble, and so the team wipe. Double kill there for Red Bull Warrior. Fantastic response there by Nita and Ali. The heroes just moved in so quickly and basically, you know, top DH, they just didn't have enough sight around this area. I mean, look at look at the wards that, look at this ward that they have. It doesn't provide them with a lot of vision. They actually walked in this way. They walked in this way and they followed the Luna, but the Luna managed to pop her BKB as well as her, as her Eclipse. So that's going to turn the fight for them. The response came in from the Invoker as well, and the Punk just got caught in the Tornado there. So right now, Poppers with Sitter Pre or the Blink Dagger, just a quick look at the item skin. Admiral has a 4 stuff, so that's, he, that's him going to be a bit uh, good. That's Gonna be making him a lot more mobile, excuse me. Round puts all around on the dire side, so some DH not doing too well in the sense that, you know, they've been denied quite a bit of gold. Um, they haven't gotten the kills that they needed, and that last fight, that team wipe, just sets them back so much, so much more. Look at that gold graph, shooting all the way up in the Radiance favor right now. Even the EXP graph as well, that's just... Right, uh, that's just the start of an incredibly huge lead that I think Nita and Ali will have. <laughs> Tom DH, in their defense, they have been very methodical. They have been trying to take down towers as well. And that's, you know, maybe that's their strategy right now. They need the towers, um, they need, the, they want those map controls, but they haven't been getting any towers down at, at all. They have been moving around the lanes, grouping up as five, trying to get towers down, down, trying to get kills as well. But that's not happening for them right now. Their support's kind of too squishy. Um, Ogamani and I really dependent on multicast there. And I'm so excited. Now Papa's gonna throw in the EMP, gonna drop the toilet and we're gonna come in as well. And Papa's very low on health, half health there, he has to pop the magic stick. And this is just gonna force Tom DH to back off behind the tower. I haven't seen Lockers use his hook shot just yet. Will Mirana land an arrow now? He's looking for it, he's throwing the arrow and the arrow will narrowly miss Red Bull Warrior. So his ravage will pop and the hook shot will come in. Catches two heroes in the cops there. And now the tower will go down as well, the Eclipse goes down, Clockwork gets a kill. Gets a kill on... Lady Candice, the Tide Hunter there, and now Multicast goes down on Red Bull Warrior, that Timber's not going to pop there. And BKB up on Luna, the animal, animal will right click Mirana to death, and he wants to go ahead. He's diving past the towers, calling his team, that deafening blast coming out, and Jawi now will stun. He will, however, right click, get right click down by the Crystal Maiden. And that's pretty much 3 for 2 deaths here. 3 kills for 2 deaths on Nita and Ali's and, Radiance you know, they go back off, they got the tower as well, looking at that. There's a lot of action, both teams just unable, or rather that Ravage by Tidehunter just turned things around. Clockwork, of course, coming in, catching the Tidehunter as well as the Luna, I believe. Uh, that just prevented more deaths for Tom the Age. bottom tower is under attack. A quick look at the GPM, GPM for Luna, right now sitting at the highest, right now it's 484. Um, closely followed behind by that live sealer there with 423. Last hits and denies, no prizes for guessing who has the number of the highest number of last hits. That's Luna with 148. And right now the hero levels of pretty um, Luna is just getting a lot of uh, a lot of I wouldn't say a lot of space has been created by her team, by his team. Um, he's just been farming quite a bit. Tom DH has been trying to do their best to gank, but they have not been able to successfully gank Nisa and Ali because they have been so quick to response to the uh, 
so quick to respond to those skanks. And they turn it around. Animal has been spot on with his tornadoes. He has been spot on with his EMPs as well. And that EMP is just killing the puck. A lot of the heroes, actually most of the heroes on Tom D.A.'s side is quite dependent on mana poppers. Very dependent on mana. Mirana doesn't have that damage yet for right clicks. Life Stealer not so much as well, and you know, Life Stealer really just needs to pop his... Oh, here we go, mid lane, the EMP and the Tornado will drop down, but will catch no one here. If they caught someone, I believe Adderall would have gotten a kill there. Mirana as well as Ogamaga have really, really close shave. They are gonna back off a bit, and five men right now. <clears throat> Both teams gonna fall, five men mid lane. Tower is under attack. And Dyer's middle tower right now both teams attack. just waiting. This is the calm before the storm. We, we will see a next team fight really really soon. Both teams just biding the time here. Trying to def Tom DH just dis defending this mid lane tower. Tier 2 tower here. Because if it drops it's basically an open... It is open to the barracks. Mirana will let loose an arrow. Will miss... Oh no, we'll actually land on Red Bull Warrior, but he is just too far. That arrow was about to expire as well, so he's gonna get away. No one's gonna come in after him. Right now it's five men again, and everyone has their ultimate up. Oh, that arrow will miss everyone on the Zen Ali, and they will start the siege on the mid lane tower. Papa's gonna throw out that illusory orb just to try to slow down the charge a bit, but that's not gonna do much because the tower gets destroyed Dyer's very, very easily. 25 minutes and almost 26 minutes. And Nita now, you're gonna push on. Bullets. No, they will not. They will wait Radiant's for the creeps and they will back off. <clears throat> so, right now, um. Radiance top tower has fallen. Very smart move, actually, but. Pump DH, they are going to have to just sit in the base, they can't do anything. Even Lifestyle, even though he's trying to get some farm, his teammates are not getting any farm at all. And look at Luna, she just picked up the Manta style. So that's going to go... That's going to be a lot more dangerous with the Glaze bouncing around. She's almost... She's almost level 60, so that's going to be another point in the Eclipse, and then she can start putting points in her attributes. And she's right now the highest net worth and oh Leonardo, he's gonna get he's gonna try to TP away. Where's the stun he has page and he will TP away in time. Close shave there, close shave. But that rumble the smoke and five men now they will move into Roshan. Simply because there is the one here. The rocket flare will go down as well and now will we see an initiation here? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Rocket Flare is doing a good job of trying to spot out where Red Bull Warrior is. Or at least they know he is there, so they're just gonna try to intimidate him to get away. But oh, the hook shot comes in from Locus, and now Red Bull Warrior gets, gets pushed back by the cock. Really saved his life there. He's gonna back off a bit, let his rea reactive armor, which only one point. He's gonna let him try to recharge, regen a bit. He has no burn charges, so this is not gonna save him quite a bit. He has to move away, um, lest the arrow comes in Radiant's and top get tower him. Is under attack. Coming in. <clears throat> so really, right, right now, what does Tom PH have to uh, have in response except for five men? Um, and even though they five men, you know, the tornado and the EMP combo from the invoker just wrecks them because that EMP just takes up so just peak their mana and they can't do anything right now. They don't have any right click damage except for the dive stealer and he's just desperately desperately trying to get some farm. So Tom DH trying to find trying to buy space. I wouldn't to be honest, I take that back. I don't think they are trying to buy space. They are trying to get some farm themselves. 
Whereas Nita and Adi, they are just barreling down mid lane again. They want this game to end as early as possible. It is the best of one, thankfully. Um, we have been, there have been some lag issues as well as keybind issues. So both teams still playing it very carefully because it is the best of one. I believe Tom DH can come back. Uh, Leonardo is farming up a storm. He's sitting free on 3,700 gold. Almost 800 gold there. But Luna just doing too well. She has that right click damage right now. And she... She's just going to be so much bigger in the team fights because of Manta style. She can come in with her Eclipse, pop her BKB and then just run around right clicking people to death. <clears throat> I think what Tom PH is lacking right now is simply, you know, they don't have that crowd control. They Sure, they have the Puck, they have the Mirana, um, but that's pretty much about it. They, the arrow needs to land on someone and that Ogre Mag I need to follow up. But that's pretty much about it. They have um, Nita and Ali, they have the Tide Hunter with he's building up towards the mag. He has that Ravage and that will help him quite a bit. But that's that's about it. And you know this Tide Hunter Ravage is just too good right now. <clears throat> Tom DH has Boom, no answer for that unless they manage to get a silence on the Tide Hunter as he walks into the team fight. <laughs> so both teams still playing, playing around, being very, very passive. And Nitan Ali just looking for the next kill here. They are going to wrap around. Oh, this is so dangerous right now. <laughs> Quick look at the map control. Um, right now, this is the vision that Tom DH has. They have the two wards here. But that's pretty much about it. And... Um, Dyer's Nita and Ali, they have kind of a bigger attack. amount of Dyer's sight here on our bot lane because see some action here. Will poppers come in? The rocket flare will come in and Rainbow Warrior being very tanky here. He's just gonna man up and right click the tower to death. And Dyer's now Nita and Ali will back off. One fallen. more tower at the top tier, two tower here. But Nita and Ali just freed up more space for them to actually... <clears throat> with, with, the, with the destruction of this tower here, Nita and Ali can actually take Roshan if they want. They are think about it though. Regeneration. And still both teams are um, Nita and Ali playing very, very passively right now. Kind of different from what I've seen in the team fights. They are being very careful. Cypher buys up on Invoker here, so that's um, this is a slightly different build. He's gone for more, more crowd control, and that is what um, <clears throat> Nita and Ali really wants to do. They have the ultimate crowd control here. Can I, if I may say, Tide Hunter with his Ravage, and then of course Chakram on the Timbersaw there. Both teams drawing out. Uh, what, both teams looking to actually do something right now, and at the event itself, they are just yelling at each other, trying to communicate what they want. So Leonardo has an item on him. Really excited to see this. He is going to be a bit bigger in team fights, but the question is, will he be able to get to his? Will he be able to get to his teammates? Uh, get to the target in time. He will be using it on Luna here, and she just needs to get out. She just needs to get out. Excuse me, before he actually manages to use the abyssal blade on her that he has on him right now. And looks like both teams are gonna just push. <laughs> they are gonna push a radiance bottom and different is under uh, up across the map. Excuse me, I'm just listening to myself talk of the background as well. Hopefully, trying not to get the feedback there. 
the orb gets thrown out there will be two people, three people now to come Rainbow Warrior gets stunned out there and now Papa's gonna come in there Dream Call catches three heroes but the VMP as well as the Paladin will come in to push them back Locke is dropping very low, he has no mana and he will be the first to fall Luna comes in as well and Edward, that's a mega kill for him Moonlight Shadow gets popped here but Oh, they have, they have side, and they will try to back off now. Leonardo, we like Shadow wears off, and Leonardo's in a bit of trouble. He gets frostbitten, he gets cold snap, and Edo is unstoppable with a double kill. 14 kills to 7 kills there across the score, about 20, 21 kills in total. And Nitanadi just looking so much better right now with the gold graph about 10k in, adva in the advantage, the EXP graph about 7,500 advantage for them. <clears throat> Going to just try to figure out what's causing the feedback there, so I do apologize to the viewers at live at the event. Thank you all for your patience and understanding. And we're gonna see Nisa and I just push down bot lane right now. They're, they're all five there, why not? Life Stealer is dead, why not? And Life Stealer being the main, being from DH's main DPS. Here we go, the Chakram gets thrown out, and very quickly the creep gets go. Uh, gets destroyed as well, and the siege starts on the bot tier 3 tower. And it will throw out the tornado. That's a really old tornado. EMP will come out and Rogue we'll Poppers get damaged. He has very little mana. Arrow will Dying come out then on Dong Fang Fai, but he is pretty much behind. Stun will throw out on Red Bull and the Ravage, huge Ravage, will catch up two heroes. Poppers will use the same ship and he will go down still. Crystal Maiden from behind. Leonardo trying to right click the Luna down to that and the little dropping very low but Leonardo he's coming in he's trying to get out of time will right click the side hunter will get that last kill with that gush and 3 to 1 right now Big Bull Warrior throwing out the tracker one last right click on original is Boca get that kill you would have done better to close your Dyer's bottom barrack. Dyer's Dyer's bottom barrack. the ogre mega, the only one to actually survive. He, you know, he had, he just Dyer's moved backwards. Barracks. Just got forced backwards and out of that. That EMP as well as that tornado coming out from Edero or the invoker, just too good right now. Just forcing from BH nice. to back off very quickly. Nita, now you just move on to the mid tower. A bit more warrior with the level 4 reactive armor, Dyer's he's just gonna tank up, he's just gonna man up. The ignite will come in on him. But he says, no, nah, it's okay, I've got reactive armor, I'm gonna just heal up right now. <coughs> Tom DH really, they don't have any answer for this right now. They just don't have the crowd control, even though they have a. Um, even though he has the... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Some DH, they don't have the crowd control that he... <clears throat> that Nita and Ali has, that's all. Um, Roshan hasn't been taken at all. This is level 1 Roshan right now. Or at least the first Roshan of the game. And Nita and Ali can take that Roshan if they want, but they will be contested by Tom DH. And Tom DH, you know, even if they contest, what, what can they do? Uh, they they can they have the pub dream call that was a fantastic dream call in the previous game, previous team fight though. Um, they have the illusory orb, but that's about it. Um, Leonardo, he's a one single target right clicker, I would say, and he needs to go after that Luna right now, and that's gonna be just so difficult because you know he's melee. Luna can just stand back with the eclipse and then just forces Leonardo to actually walk towards her, walk towards him. Excuse me, walk towards the Luna there, just for, for clarification, and that's, you know, that's gonna be, make, that's gonna force him to take a lot of right clicks from her, as well as her teammates. His teammates, Crystal, the name, please. <laughs> I could have hit Roshan. <clears throat> now, Nita and Ali gonna push up on the top lane, get this tower, they are very methodical, they have decided, they've got it a mid tier 3, Tower here, they're gonna go for the mid, the top tier to tower, and very quickly, you know, uh, Tom DH says, Tom DH says, no, you take our tower, you take your Roshan. Dyer's top tower has fallen. 
<clears throat> so, uh, I may have spoken too soon though, no, Roshan will go down, Roshan and now Luna the will down. pick up the Aegis here, but it might Dyer's be a bit too late, TP is all coming in, and we have to defend Dyer's this power, this power is going to go, it's half health right now, but what throws out, Rocket Flare, the arrow will come in and land on the creep, Luna very narrowly missing it there, the mech gets popped as well, and Oh, multicast on Lady Candice. He's dropping so, so low. He has Ravage up though. And he wants to stick around for that fight right now. Luna, look at those in pages. Lucia's just doing so much damage. Just forcing, um, forcing them back. The MP will get thrown down. Just to scare them off. Leonardo has very little mana left. And Tom DH. Leonardo is going to get close back there. The heck comes in as well. Beam call on three, two heroes, excuse me, Locus, he's stuck right now. And Ravage, Candace is looking for the Ravage, he comes the Ravage and gets it off just before he dies. Two for kill two for two kills right now. And Nita and Ali just says, you know, you guys can just try to defend, we are just gonna push your towers. Those bouncing blades, look at them. This bouncing Granado back, he's gonna go down right now. He pops his armlet and that and the full blade will go down Rainbow Water. He's gonna top his ages there. And we're in a bit of trouble. He's gonna try to get out of time. Um, yeah, Rainbow Warrior we're gonna just get that. And uh Adoro goes down, Ogamega goes down as well, and Timbersaw finally goes down. Luna comes in there and gets a wicked sick streak with a double kill. Look at that! Come on! Well done! He tried to kill Leonardo there, but of course the tower's just killing him as well. But you know what? The base, the base of Tom DH right now looking really, really empty. The way it's open to the tier 4 towers and the ancient. And that will be GG in a few minutes if Nita and Ali manages to push, in, uh, manages to push all the way up to the, the tier 4 towers, which I believe they will do very easily. The live stealer pop did pop the ages a bit too prematurely. Um, his teammates were not there. So you know, he, he, he got that ages off and decided to come back. He did get a kill on the Luna though and that that should that's kind of important because you know that helps him to to get some more gold, but that's um, it's still not good enough. Because now from the H they will have to fight the Mega Creeps as well and that's gonna force them all the sun strike on Leonardo there. Making him wonder is anyone gonna pop out from behind him, from beside him, excuse me, and kill him off. Look at the amount of damage that the creeps are doing to the towers. Tower, tier 4 tower is going to go down very quickly. And Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I would say that's pretty much the end of the game. Look at the massive lead that Misa and Ali on the Radiant side has <laughs> amassed. 20k gold. And the EXP as well, about 14k at the highest. And now we're gonna see. Oh, we're gonna get frost bitten there. He, the mech is gonna pop. The hookshot will come in. Ah, oh, pop a brick into that hookshot there. But EMP will drop as well. And now Locke is unable to do anything because he's hexed up. So Fang Fu Pai gonna get stunned out there and get set upon by Luna. The ravage will come in. Pop is gonna get caught in the ravage. And now. Dyer's middle tower. Where? Wow. Uh, Leonardo gets a double kill on the invoker as Dyer's well as the DM there. And the ancient now is open. Still, Leonardo is just gonna go ham on Lady Candice. But Crystal comes in. Look at that damage. The insect will do tons of damage. And Red Bull Warrior just going ham after Leonardo. One last red clean. No, he throws out the Kakram, gets that kill there. Five back everywhere. Crystal says, nah, let's just. You know, attack the Asians and it's GG well played by Lockers. GG well played guys. Very good game. Apologies for all the pauses and the technical issues. But it was a fantastic game. Huge plays by both teams all around. So once again this is the Dota 2 Cyber Gaming Competition. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this is sponsored by Logitech, uh, they do have an event next Friday as well, do go down to Colosseum level 5 at Boogies Plus from 12 to 7pm and I'll see you guys there as well. My name is Maya Akana, thank you all for tuning in, we will move on to the finals very very quickly and you know, very good game by both teams and hope you guys enjoy the cast, I will see you soon.